I'm in my bedroom here, and we, we could hear the baby crying. And within seconds, we hear a thump, like a body just hits the ground. I pick up my house phone, dial 911. Carl Chen describes how he jumped into action in a way that has his neighbors now calling him a hero. He and his family live right behind this scene that NYPD investigators were on all day. Police say that a young mother pushed that air conditioner out of her bedroom window, then threw her four-week-old baby out and down to the ground, as well as her two-year-old son. Then the mother jumped herself. All three were naked. A warning, what happened next is even more disturbing. Chin's sister-in-law was also an eyewitness. She put the baby by the leg and boom, boom. Boom, boom. She said that was the sound of the baby thrown down to the concrete. She dropped the baby twice. So before she could do it the third time, I just jumped over and ran to her. He was the one run like any Superman and jumped the fence. He jumped this fence in his bare feet, by the way, and is now limping from the 10 foot drop on the other side. Used my forearm and kind of gotten her to loose, loosen her, her grip with the baby. Chin calmed the mother down until paramedics and police came minutes later. She's clearly not in the a right state of mind. She she must have had some type of mental breakdown. She actually thanked me once I got the baby in my hand. She thanked me and told me to take care of her daughter. She's not to be judged because we all go through our depression. The newborn was transported in bad shape, but alive. Half of her face was bruised. The mother and two-year-old are reported in stable condition. Chin's family and neighbors say it would be worse if not for him. Just decency, just doing what any decent person would do. And just minutes ago, the NYPD identified this young mother. They say her name is Jahani Jarrell. She's 24 years old, charged with two counts of attempted murder, two counts of assault, and two counts of reckless endangerment. Again, at this point, everyone is expected to pull through, even though that infant was in really bad shape. Reporting live from the Brownsville neighborhood of Brooklyn, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.